it's really important to understand why people ask repetitive questions when they have a diagnosis of dementia. Often we answer questions factually and give the person the information that they're asking for. And this is often because we're remembering the person with dementia as the person that they were pre-diagnosis and pre, you know, and before the time the illness started affecting their skills. Um, we're expecting them to be able to remember that information and we're expecting them to be, or we're expecting them to be able to find that information out for themselves. And sadly, this, often, this, this is often not the case when somebody is asking repetitive questions. One of the main reasons people ask repetitive questions is because they are seeking reassurance. In this instance, it's really important to pay attention to the tone of how someone is asking the question rather than the content of actually what that question is and then responding to the tone of the question. So in addition to giving the information that they're asking for, following that up with an answer that addresses the tone of their conversation, the tone of their question. So you might want to use soothing statements that are validating, like, I know that you're feeling anxious because you might want to help them to name the emotion that they're feeling. You might want to use normalizing statements. So things like, it's completely normal to feel anxious about making uh, a GP appointment on time because they're so short. I would also be anxious about it. Let's find it out together. You might want to use statements that encourage the person with dementia to not feel embarrassed and to not feel like they're alone in not remembering it. So often saying things like, we're a team, we're in this together, can be really helpful in just reducing that sense of isolation that someone might feel. Remember that if someone is asking repetitive questions because it's their way of seeking reassurance, it might be helpful rather than answering the question over and over again to respond to the tone that the person is asking the question. Um, and then maybe just taking 10 minutes to say, you know what, this question's driving us both nuts. Let's just sit down together for 10 minutes and just be, just be together. Let's have a nice cup of tea or, you know, um, there's a lot to be said about just creating five, 10 minutes of just sitting and being with someone. And that does wonders to reassure people.